today I'm going to be drawing the Penderworks, who are five sisters from a book series. The book specifically from the scene I'm drawing is the Penderworks at last, where all the sisters are together for a certain event. So I'm going to be drawing the five different sisters. I have already drawn two of them, Lydia and Batty, which I put the names above the characters over here. But now I am going to be drawing the third sister, whose name is Jane. So here I'm trying to basically find the same ivory color for Jane's dress, and I kind of started sketching it out. I had no idea what to really do for the dress. So I was just kind of trying to draw random styles and seeing which one I liked. But eventually I came to this style, which I started doing. So I added like bat wing sleeves. And I kind of made the dress like loose and baggy. After that, I kind of noticed that the color I was using was more reddish tinted, so I basically had to find a whole new color and redo that. So here I am just trying to like fix up everything and get rid of any reddish color you can see. So pretty much what happened after this point was I kind of didn't see the point of that like upper like cut thingy mabob in the dress. So I ended up erasing it a little bit over here, but then I ended up fully getting rid of it so you could only have the sleeves in the dress. So yeah, I was basically just like filling in the seams, coloring it in. So I was over here just basically erasing and then filling in more color and it took a while to get the shape I wanted. Like over there I got that sleeve wrong and then I had to draw it back again. And it was kind of just a big mess and I was kind of feeling down. But after that I was like yeah I like the shape of the dress. So then I started adding some like sheer fabric because that's how they described it in the text, in the book. So then I was kind of shaping it to the way I wanted it to be. And then I added an overlay of white because I didn't want the color to pop out too much. I kind of wanted just like a little bit of color. Then I added this sash for her, just like I had for the other girls, which you should be able to see once I zoom back. And I added some rig ribbons hanging down. Then I added some borders for the sleeves, and I added the actual neckline of the dress. Then I was looking for a skin tone color, and I found this. So then I kind of started drawing her shoulders and her neck. So I gave her some hands. And I gave her some legs, and I was coloring it in, covering it with the fabric, you know. So it took me a few tries to get the feet I wanted, and in the end I didn't actually draw feet with that skin tone fabric. I ended up actually doing it with the color of the actual shoes. So yeah, now here I am, I was drawing it with the shoes, which kind of ended up failing because I drew it too small the first few times, and then I finally ended up actually getting it. So yeah, first I was going to make them just plain, but then towards the end I decided that I was going to make them high top. So I added some laces and the actual sole of the shoe. Just added some finishing touches, covering up the skin that was going on top of the fabric. Added a little cute little thing to her clip on her hair. I ended up adding a lot more hair to cover up the neck part because I didn't draw a head. So. 
He's trying to fix that. And because I did that part to the bottom, I ended up doing it to the top too. Okay. Just to fix it okay. up. Then I got rid of some excess hair on the hair clip. And voila, I was done with Jane. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.